update on fact or faked. Paranormal files. Biggest thing since the Roswell, New Mexico crash. This thing ripped her head right in half. Jonathan Reed says that he was out with his dog Susie hiking. His dog breaks loose and starts running. He starts following his dog and he hears his dog yelping. When he gets there, he comes upon the scene of seeing a four to five foot tall creature who has his dog by both jaws and is ripping it apart. What? Wow. Okay. In his rage and fear with this stick that he'd picked up off the ground, he gives it one big swat and hits this creature on the head to the ground. He's able to, to pull out a video camera and his still camera he had in his bag and start photographing this thing. All right, guys, here are our materials. We're going to build an obelisk. You know what I find really hard is that this guy sounds so genuine when he tells this story. He's been telling this story for over 14 years now. Well, that's true. He's had time to rehearse a script, if that's the case. All right, looks like we're ready, guys. OK. Ready? Yep. Go. With all my obelisk building experience, I'd have to say that this is one of the better ones. Yeah, this is actually looking <laughs> really good. Now we've just got to make it float. That's going to be the challenge. All right, now that we're finished with the obelisk, I want to show you guys this alien creature that I made. I wonder how close we got to the original. All right, here he is. Take a look. Our very wow. own oh. alien. That thing is really creepy. He said there were three main reasons for going to war in Iraq. Weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein has gone to elaborate lengths, spent enormous sums, taking great risks to build and keep weapons of mass destruction. The claim that Iraq was sponsoring terrorists would have attacked us on 9-11. Before September the 11th, many in the world believed that Saddam Hussein could be contained. And that Iraq had purchased nuclear materials from Niger. The regime is seeking a nuclear bomb. Uh, all three of those turned out, turned out to be false. Uh, first, uh, just if I might correct a misperception, I, I don't think we ever said, at least I know I didn't say, that there was a direct connection between September the 11th and, 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 and Saddam Hussein. Who does the president think he's effing kidding? Um, of course, it was information that was mistaken. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. I want to show you guys this alien creature that I made. Oh, alien That creature. thing is really creepy. Looks real, doesn't it? It does. You've got the eyes, you've got the mouth, oh, you've got like the same texture that we're seeing. Let's start the experiments and get this stuff down in the forest. Okay. All right, so we have a 53-inch alien. It has a polyurethane skull covered in a latex skin. It looks really good, but we're going to see how it looks when we try to replicate it in the video. This pack was up here, and then... Lancelot Link, secret gym. It's going to be on the right. Perfect. Yeah. That looks good. 
So I drilled on this mount on the back side. We're gonna attach it to this Schedule 80 aluminum pipe that we've secured to the ground and wrapped in greenery. And hopefully from the vantage point, you won't be able to see the pole and it will appear to be floating in midair. That's it. How was it? To let people know they are more than their physical body. As the Russian planes close in, the UFO suddenly picks up speed and disappears. So one of the prime theories of Reed's followers are that the eyes are opening in his video, and this is proof to them that it is in fact a real alien. I have, uh...
have uh, rigged up some servos and motors behind the eyes of this alien. And with this control box, I'll be able to connect it up to some wires and uh, open these eyes automatically whenever we want. This is pretty simple, right? This is like the same stuff you would use like in a remote control airplane or something, little tiny motors and, and oh, just yeah. servos that run. It's really not that for complicated specific... at all. Okay, cool. I'll get dressed up like Dr. Reed with his, his gloves on. I think that's gonna be good. So I'm playing the part of Jonathan Reed again. If you remember in his account, after he took the alien creature back home and put it in his freezer, he tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. So he puts on some gloves, takes out his camera, and he starts doing kind of a little uh, exploration and autopsy. I have a lot of questions I still want to ask him. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for meeting up with me again oh, no to problem. talk for a little bit. What Reed doesn't know is that after this interview, we'll be applying layered voice analysis to his statements to see if there's any deception. So I talked with analysts from Layered Voice Technologies. With the use of their equipment, we were able to run some of Reed's statements, and this is how it was analyzed. I saw this little creature pulling her jaw apart. This is the part of the interview where Jonathan makes a statement that this is his truth and his reality. This is just my truth. It's my case, it's my story, it's what happened to me. If you came to me and said that you created this illusion, you'd be working here like that. 